making sure my video is starting up. My CPU is uh, lagging. Just making sure my video is starting up. My CPU is... Okay, so we're going to talk about type conversion. I think what he means is... Uh, is uh, how the uh, compiler figures out type. So, um, the main question is uh, integer and float. So, first of all, O trace, no, 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 it's just called trace. No, it's called pass trace. Pass trace um, how about I equals I plus F? How about that? Okay. So the uh, the code Let's, let's go ahead and unassemble function main. Okay, so we uh, this this sets up the uh, this is the uh, function uh, standard uh, what would you call it frame. It saves RSI is going to be RSI is the variable I. F is a float and it can't be a uh, register variable. I guess you could, but that's not what I do. Anyway, uh, so we uh, we load an integer. In this case, it's loading. Uh, uh, zero off RSP. Oh that's what it just pushed it. So it pushed it pushed RSI which is the I variable. It loaded an integer then it um it's just clearing clearing the stack from that last operation. Then it's gonna add um a float and then it's gonna store an integer and pop the floating point stack. So it um, it loads an integer, converting it into the floating point, uh, or pushing it onto the floating point stack. It adds an in a, a float from memory. Then it stores the result. Then it pops it and moves it back into RSI. It's, it's pretty bad. My compiler is kind of crappy, but. Oh, well, anyway, uh, so the question is, how did we, um, how did we get to this point? So it starts with, uh, um, so it, you have to understand how, what we're looking at. It's a stack machine. Um, so it uh, it it pushes RBP. It pushes the offset of the I variable. Then it adds the two. It pops two and at and pushes the result. Then it pushes the address of the F variable. It it dereferences uh, the top of the stack, which is the F variable. And it uh, no hold on. It's going to make an assignment. And so. Um, the assignment um, this is the first argument for the assignment which is the it's thinking ahead and then this is the uh, 
that's the address that it's going to assign to then this is the first um, this is the, the what we have is i equals i plus f right this is the uh, the i that we're looking at here this is the uh, the i that we're looking at here and then um, the, you see this size of and mall that's because uh, pointer arithmetic is sometimes necessary so it's it's multiplying by one all that crap is because of uh, pointer arithmetic anyway now the, the question from I got a question someone wanted to know about type conversion all the way down to the assembly level over here um, the parser is um, to it, the best of its ability keeping track of the uh, of the uh, type so okay so we're adding um, so this is remember remember we said I equals I plus F this is the F right here um, oh I'm sorry um, oops damn it I didn't mean to do that so um, that's where it, that's the F variable and then it adds the two and then here's the final assign which is the top of the stack plus um, this other variable that's it puts the uh, result into I so it, it's starting in the beginning it thinks it's an integer pointer and finally an integer and this is a float so pass one is where the answer to your question lies pass one two and three by the time it's finished with pass one it is figured out that uh, it does a conversion from uh, the result it converts the result of this to a double which is a float and it converts the result result of this to an integer the final result so it, it um, it's an integer pointer on the stack that's the I variable oh damn it remember I, remember it's I equals I plus F so it's a, it's a it's the address of I is on the stack at this point uh, at this point the dereferenced value of I is on the stack at this point F is on the stack then it pops the the I and the F and then the assign deals with the address of I okay so um, pass one is where it figures out the types so let's go ahead and look at the pass one code so in the in the compiler the parser um, does a rough estimate of the type and then in the in the compiler let's say we're looking at a, uh, a an add no let's say we're looking at a subtract I see I didn't mean to do that. so when there's an intermediate code subtracting two values what it has to do first it tries to see if it's constant okay it calls this fix up fix up uh, binary this is the answer to your question right in this routine right here if um, the first if the first argument has real to int then we are dealing with an int if the first argument has real result oh result to int int if the first argument has result to float we're dealing with the float otherwise we take the class and then when we get down here if if the uh, this is the result of the two arguments the the, the, um, the type is stored as a class so there's um, this function right here has when you have an operation a binary operator has two operands two um, it has two arguments this is the first of the 
terms you're adding this is the second of the terms you're adding and then this is the result um, so these are types that you're adding or no those are those are intermediate codes I'm sorry the uh, class 1 is the type of the of arg1 class 2 is the type of arg2 and so um, at this point if if the result is a float uh, in here we check if it's an immediate and uh, we uh, if it's not a float we convert it to float this is where it puts it says we need a conversion flag result to float to float and down here we need a conversion flag result to float these are for the two um, the two arguments coming in the first argument the second argument and this is doing a check if it's a uh, if it's a if this binary operator is a comparison operator then we are not going to be a comparison float to float is an integer result um, if you know what I'm talking about um, so finally uh, this is for this is for check this is checking for um, let, let's say you have a uh, plus 2 plus 3 let's say you have this code what we want to do is simplify this to 2 plus to 5 so um, in in this result we should have a 5 oh it, it adds a float 5 um, the floating point uh, uh, that's my SAT score <laughs> anyway uh, um, 1440 is a uh, this is a float constant that's been tacked on if you that's a five um, I'm just telling you um, watch this uh, f64 D equals five now if I say dump or if, how about if I just say let's take D and type cast it to a uh, integer it's a so that's the exponent uh, 399 is or 3ff is a 1.0 400 is a, a exponent of 2 401 is an exponent of 4 there's a hidden bit and then um, anyway so it's got a floating point okay so getting back to the compiler code uh, this is where it's checking if it can uh, it, it wants to uh, simplify constants so if we go to I see sub I'm so, I should I should give an overview um, so in the uh, compiler pass it makes a pass through the uh, the intermediate codes um, and uh, when it gets when it gets to the uh, we had some ads um, okay let's look for ad um, I see ad. so it um, it calls up the type this is this will convert um, floats to or integers to floats if one of them is a float is that what it will also simplify constants this is where um, we're doing an addition well here's where it's adding the two values and replacing it's um, if you have if you have two constants and in this case we have um, we have two constants we're adding and uh, where are we doing that okay you see this there's a two immediate there and a three immediate there it adds the two and so when we when we simplify we have to uh, we have to turn that into a no op we turn that into a no op and then we turn this into a uh, an immediate five so 
Um, we turn two of them into no ops, and then we turn the result into uh, an immediate five. Um, um, anyway, um, set no op. It's it's turning them into no ops. So basically, uh, pass pass zero, one, and two. It figures out the final type. And it figures out the uh, it simplifies constants. So there's two two jobs that the pass zero one two does. That figures out types and constants. Pass three one of these one of these passes allocates registers. Uh, this one allocates registers. I wonder if I updated this after I changed it. Oh, I didn't update this. Damn it! I have to update this. Oh, why don't I do that? So I, I already answered your question. Now I'm going to go busy about my day. Just Gordon. Uh, I'm going to tell the person that um, 